for me, um, Camp Lejeune was nothing more than a long name on my birth certificate for the first 39 years of my life. Um, like I mentioned earlier, one night my ex-wife gave me a hug and found a lump in my breast. And, you know, that the first 90 days was just crazy. I mean, I, I went from being a father of four, married 18 years. Oh, you have male breast cancer. And oddly enough, too, I was diagnosed on my 18th wedding anniversary, which put a big shroud on my marriage. But um, shortly after my um, diagnosis, you know, I was worried about my family, worried about my kids, what was going to happen to them. I had my right breast removed uh, within 30 days of diagnosis. And then uh, two months after my diagnosis, you know, I'm sitting here scratching my head, how in the world did I get breast cancer? I'm not hereditary breast cancer. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I take care of myself, but yet I've got this disease. And then my father calls me and says to turn on CNN. And lo and behold, there was a retired Marine testifying in Congress about how the children born between January 1968 and December 1985 were being studied for their exposures to toxic drinking water at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Well, my birthday is in January 1968, and I about passed out because I realized that I was one of those kids. And for me, unlike a lot of people, I got that answer. Why? Why do I have cancer? Well, in my case, because my mother was exposed while she was pregnant with me to highly contaminated drinking water on the Marine base. And um, it's been 10 years now. And, you know, my cancer journey is, is progressed. I'm, I've been cancer free now for 10 years. Um, but in this, in doing so, I've been able to, um, help other people, uh, and also, you know, help right some of the wrongs that have occurred at Camp Lejeune. 